Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today we will be doing another blind taste test rankings video. Now, the way these videos work, if you haven't seen one of our previous videos, is we have five cups of coffee over here, we have five bags of coffee over here. We're trying to identify which of these cups of coffee is which of these bags of coffee based off of taste alone. We will also be ranking them in order of our least favorite to our most favorite. And there's a theme behind each and every one of these videos. And there are two themes to this video. The first being these are all coffee roasters that were suggested to us by a subscriber or a viewer. And the secondary theme is they're all Northeast American based coffee roasters. Coffee roasters we're not overly familiar with. The only one we've done a full review on is uh, Little Wolf. So we don't know what to expect with these coffee roasters. It will be interesting to see how they stack up, see how we do considering we don't know any of these overly well. But let's go ahead and introduce the coffees here. So I'm going to introduce the first three together. We have a anaerobic wash process Honduras from Blind Tiger based out of Philadelphia. We have a wash process Rwanda from Akina, also based out of Philadelphia. And a wash process Kenya from Little Wolf, based out of Ipswich, Massachusetts. All three of these coffees were suggested to us by Zach and Greg Like Coffee. Shout out to Zach and Greg Like Coffee, thanks for the suggestions. We have a natural process Rwanda from Mod Cup, based out of Jersey City, New Jersey. Mod Cup was suggested to us by Eric Clemente, and uh, he didn't suggest a specific coffee, so we just went with whichever one sounded good. Can't recall who suggested Grace Note, but we went with a natural process Ethiopia from Grace Note based out of Boston, Massachusetts. All right, so we are going to go ahead and clear some space so we can start trying some coffees. Still don't have any cupping cups, but we do have a cupping spoon, so we'll be using the cupping spoon for this. And we're just going to shuffle these around all Five of these cups of coffee were made the exact same, and I don't know what any of them are, just shuffling them around for good measure. I really don't know what to expect with this one, as the coffees all, for the most part, sound pretty distinct and unique, but given a strong lack of familiarity with how these roasters are, it might be a little bit more tricky. So we'll do one more shuffle, we'll shuffle like that, and we'll try a cup of coffee number one. Not the biggest slurper in the world, never have been, so give that a shot. Alright, um, a little chocolatey. I'm pretty chocolatey. Alright, um, gonna play it very safe, not going to make any early guesses, just gonna say, oh, right, there's more chocolate in it. Cup number two. Pretty sure I already know what this one is. This well, I like this one less than this one, but I'm still not taking any guesses. I'm not going to be. Uh, I've, I've been perfect so far. I'm not going to risk getting it wrong at this point. All right, cup number three. Even playing it safe, even not risking it, um, one sip, and I can already tell what this one is. This one right here is um, the Kenya. And for those that don't know, Kenyans typically aren't my favorite. It's very cranberry forward, a little bit of tomato. There's only one Kenya we have, it's the Kenya from Little Wolf. Don't necessarily love Kenya, so I'm pretty safe and comfortable making this guess. All right, try cup number four. I'm also really comfortable with making a guess on this one. This is very, very blueberry forward. Got a nice bit of lemon to it as well. Uh, blueberry tends to indicate some sort of, um, especially a natural Ethiopia, if there is a natural Ethiopia on the table. Pretty sure it's going to be the Misty Valley from Grey Snow. And my favorite of these cups of coffee so far. Obviously, we'll go through a second run and see if that might change, but we have the fifth and final cup to this shot. And this is interesting. I'm not entirely sure between these three. Alright. I'm just going to put this right here for right now. And I might have let these cool down a little too much as it's having a little bit of difficulty discerning between these three. Okay, this one on second try after trying the rest of these cups of coffee. This one is really, really nice. This one's, it's got a great bit. Of it, so it's very tea like a cup of coffee. It's got a really beautiful red fruit taste to it. I'm going to guess that it's some sort of cherry. Really delightful. Some very slight stone fruits as well. Light bodied. I think this is a really, really well done cup of coffee. 
probably going to be an African. Since it's super clean, it's probably going to be a washed. Uh, the other two I have, it's not gonna be the natural, so it has to probably be the uh, wash process we'll wander from Akina. If it is, terrific job. You know, it's a really good cup of coffee. All right, well, let's try these pounds here. I had a suspicion with these two, but let's try them again. This one's a little whiny. Pretty, pretty strong. I'm gonna guess that this has to be a natural process. It's slightly roasty. I'm gonna guess that this right here is probably the natural process for one from Maka. And that would mean that this is probably going to be what's left, the anaerobic wash from Blind Tiger. It's got a pretty crisp kind of um, skin fruit taste to it, what I would probably consider an apple, but it has some slight similarities to the uh, Cherry Waji from Manhattan, and that was a pretty pear forward coffee. I can kind of get some maybe pear, so it's got some tamer fruits. I'm gonna, that would make a lot of sense for it to be the Blind Tiger. So, the anaerobic wash under it's from Blind Tiger. I'm confident, not overly confident. I think I did an okay job. Really confident on the Little Wolf. Let's see how we did. So this is, this should be the Little Wolf. It should say LW at the bottom. Of course, I was always going to be overly confident on sure on this one. So first one correct. Not overly confident, not overly positive. Said the Mod Cup should say MC at the bottom. Let's see what we got. MC, all right. Off to a good start, two for two. All right. This one, again, not overly confident, but if this one was the Mod Cup, then I'm pretty sure this should say BT for Blind Tiger. Yeah, Blind Tiger. Okay, now I'm really confident that I got another five for five. All right, this one should say uh, GN for Grace Note. And GN for Grace Note. And that would make this one right here the uh, Makina, which should say MQ. And MQ, perfect. All right, so as with uh, previous blind taste test rankings videos, this is all subject to change. Going to be doing an in-depth review on all five of these coffees. So one of them by the end could turn out to be my favorite, one of my favorite coffees. Um, one of them could go down significantly and it'll be interesting to see how they all change over the next couple of weeks. But over the next couple of weeks, I should be doing a review on each and every one of these coffees. So I'll always like to apologize to whoever suggested what and how it finished, but I mean, it's, it's a Kenya. I think people ha that have watched enough of my videos know that I typically have a harder time with Kenyas. Um, each have their nice components. This Makina is great. I'm very much looking forward to reviewing this over the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to leave this at that. Uh, if you're enjoying these blind taste test rankings videos, give them a like. As I always say, they are by far the most fun videos to make. They're just the most amount of work and efforts to do. And I'm always shocked and surprised and happy when I do a good job and get them all correct. So another five for five, really proud of that one. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, uh, you know, give this video a like as well. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. But this right here has been a blind taste test rankings video. Uh, thanks to all of those that suggested these copies. And thank you all for watching.